Hi, my name is Mike Newman. It's good to be with you. We're talking about spiritual fitness. And the reason we're doing these little video vignettes is, well, one, we want to bless you. We hope that God reaches your heart and gives you his hope, which is a hope against all hope in Jesus Christ. But this is also a little partnership with uh, Michigan District and Texas District. I have deep connections to Michigan. Of course, I live in San Antonio, Texas now. I'm part of the Texas District. There's a great church called Christ Our King, and we thought, hey, maybe we could try to do something together to bless people with the good news. So here it is. That's why we're talking about spiritual fitness. It's based on a book I wrote called The Life You Crave. It's all about grace. You can take a look at the book. There's a study guide with it, and it'll help you be spiritually fit. But, you know, one key component in spiritual fitness is purpose, having a reason for being here. Today, it's what people crave. People are walking around wondering why they're here or if it's all just worthless. And it's so important to know that there's a reason for being here. You know, I think uh, the craving of our culture for purpose is seen in uh, what you, something you may have heard about. It's called the Mars One Initiative. It's an effort to get people to volunteer to be the first ones sent to Mars. Now, the, the catch is they can't come back. They need to colonize there and stay there as more people are sent. Now, you wouldn't think many people would want to do that, but when the application process opened, over 200,000 people applied. Now, why would people want to travel to Mars to live there? What's missing in their lives? You know, it's purpose. They want something excitement, adventure. They want to make a difference. And that's what God gives. See, spiritual fitness means knowing God's purpose for your life. Uh, Jesus said to his disciples, go into all the world. You know, preach the gospel to all creation. Jesus had a big global view of these humble disciples and let them know that they can make a huge difference because of his grace, because of his word, and because of his presence. You know, that's you too. You make a huge difference right here. God has a unique plan and purpose for you where you're at. You don't have to be wealthy. Don't have to be famous. You can be, but even if you're not, God uses you, the irreplaceable you, to bless people in this world. That's your calling, to bring his blessing, to bring his grace. And you have it. Now, there's a verse I love, Jeremiah 29, 11, when God promises. He says, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. God's purpose is your ultimate spiritual fitness. I pray that you're filled with faith in him, filled with his grace, so that you can be one who blesses the people around you. Thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you again.